Good day, welcome back. We're going to watch over two videos how to answer the same question in different ways and that there's always more than one option in solving uh, mathematics. When we look at this trigonometry, it's an integration between geometry and trigonometry. Question states A is the center of the circle and BE and DE are tangents. First thing that I know Tangents from a common point to the same circle are equal in length. So I indicate that for myself because I will have to use that as the time progresses. Then I also know that the tangent to a radius is 90 degrees. And if I should need to use that, I will use it. So they ask me the following question. Determine to two decimal places. Correct the size of angle B, A, D. B, A, D. It's this angle. Remember there's two angles here. I've got the, the reflex angle and there's an obtuse angle. But the one that they're referring to with information given is that they are referring to this angle B, A, D. Okay. The first thing that we do is we write down what we have proven now. So B, E is equal to D, E is equal to 12 centimeters. Tangents to a circle from a common point. That is my reason. Then, I say there that angle ADE is 90 degrees. Meaning, AD is perpendicular to DE. AD is perpendicular to DE. Because a radius meets a tangent at 90 degrees. But AB is also a radius. And BE is a tangent. So, they will also meet at 90 degrees. And I list it down and I say my reason it's a radius meets a tangent at 90 degrees. Now I notice that ADEB is a quadrilateral, so the angles will add up to 360 degrees. These two together already forms 180 degrees, so that means this one and that one will also add up to 180 degrees. So in this I can see that I've got three sides of this triangle. I can find the angle E. And if I have E, subtract this from 180 degrees and I will have A. The most important thing is to note what we have established. So we say angle ABE plus angle ADE forms 180 degrees. So we can say that angle BAD and BED will also be supplementary angles in the quadrilateral. So, if I use my cos rule now, E squared is equal to D squared plus B squared minus 2DB cos E. So, cos of angle E will be equal to D squared plus B squared minus E squared over 2DB. So, E will be shift cos of D squared plus B squared minus E squared over 2DB. I substitute all my values and I calculate the answer as 49,2486367. Next thing is that A will be equal to, remember E and A is supplementary, so 180 degrees minus that angle will give me the size of angle A. So that's 130,75 degrees. Remember what I said, there is two angles at BAD. There is the obtuse angle and then there's the reflex angle. We calculated the obtuse angle. But remember if they should ask you what's the size of the reflex angle, that that will be 360 degrees minus the 130.75 will give you 229,25 degrees. So now that I have calculated the information, I try to populate my sketch with as much information as possible so that if I need to use this information, I can um, comfortably use the information given. From here, I will calculate the two sides that I need in order to calculate the area of the triangle. So the first thing I do, now we will calculate angle BDA. And we will calculate angle A, B, D. These angles are equal to each other because A, D 
and AB are radii and they are the same length. So the angles opposite the sides that are equal will also be equal. So the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 130.75 gives me a total for these two angles together. So I divide that answer by 2 because they are equal angles. So it gives me 24,625, which rounded off will give me 24,63 degrees. Now I will use these angle sizes to calculate the length of the, these two sides by using the sine rule. Sine of angle B over AD will be equal to sine of A over DB. Or I can say that sine of, or, or rather, 10 over sine of A will be equal to AB over sine of angle D. If I manipulate now to make AB the subject of the equation, I will find AB is equal to 10 sine of 24,63 over sine of 130,76, that gives me a radius of 5,5 centimeters. So I know that AB is 5,5 as well as AD is 5,5 centimeters. So now I can use the area rule, which says the area of triangle ABD is equal to half of DB sine of A. So half of 5,5 multiplied by 5,5 multiplied with sine of 130.76 degrees gives me an answer of 11,46 square centimeters. I want to thank you for watching. See you in the next video where I will show you that the very same calculation can be done also in another way.